Hello there and welcome back to another edition of Silly Car Showdown. Today we are taking a look at the Ford Double Down Custom. This car was requested by the Scotian Racer and it is a pretty interesting one. Apparently this is one of the world's most famous hot rods. It's essentially a 1932 Ford but it's got like a custom all-wheel drive system, a ridiculously powerful engine. Um, it's a rather interesting car. It's part of that Barrett-Jackson pack which I absolutely despised back in Forza 7. I don't hate it as much now. But still, I mean, in this game, it makes a little bit more sense. I'm still not a massive fan of it, though. Anyways, uh, when it comes to the double down, uh, you can't engine swap it, and we also won't be drivetrain swapping it because that's the rules of the series. However, you can change the aspiration and add a supercharger to this, which makes it go from the standard 850 horsepower to, to 1031 horsepower. Yeah. Anyways, as usual, in accordance with the rest of the series, uh, there is no Forza Aero allowed, so we will have no rear wings or anything like that. We can get the blower, but apparently that adds 33 pounds of weight. It looks kind of cool, but I don't care enough to put it on there, so we will leave it. Uh, tires, you can't really do anything with, uh, because, well, it's already on race tires, so we won't do anything with those. In terms of the tire widths, they are 355s on the front and 355s on the rear, so pretty darn big tires anyway, which is good, because I have a feeling we're probably going to need massively big tires. We're gonna stick in all of that stuff. Uh, brakes, yes, we definitely want those. Uh, suspension is apparently already on race suspension, and we can add a roll cage, which considering this is a car from 1932 still, uh, we're gonna want that. Now we come to the engine, and, and this is where things are probably going to get quite interesting. Namely because that adds 158 horsepower. I, I, I can imagine that the power figure we're going to end up with here is... Uh, oh. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Right. I, I don't really know what to say to that. Let's add the flywheel. We are in X-Class, very firmly. We have 1,805 horsepower, 1,425 foot-pound torque, 2,676 pounds of weight. Oh dear, 2.3 seconds 60 and 241 miles per hour top speed. I have a feeling, and, and, and you know, correct me if I'm wrong here, I have a feeling our Ferrari FXXK may get some rather unlikely competition when it comes to this car. I'm just going to quickly, yeah, there we go. We're perfectly fine with that. I just wanted to make sure I hadn't missed an upgrade off or anything like that. Um, yeah. Things are about to get very interesting, let me tell you. This could end very badly for a certain leaderboard leader. So, here we are at our Edinburgh course, ready to give the Ford a double down custom. Five laps to set the best time it possibly can. Our current leader is the Ferrari FXXK with a 134.196. The question is, can the double down beat that? Well, this should be interesting. The Ferrari is definitely going to have the advantage around the corners, in theory. Because um, that car has a bunch of electronics and aero and stuff like that. This car is essentially doing this purely on brute strength. Um, you know, 355 tyres, it's all about mechanicals when it comes to this car. It's basically just a giant engine, a chassis which is not particularly well set up, but you know, it's basically big engine, big tyres. Let's see how well this goes. So far, I have to say, this thing handles a hell of a lot better than you expect it to. And straight line speed, I'm imagining, is... Okay! Yeah. 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 That, that was 182 miles an hour, and I went on the brakes early. Bear in mind, the, for the fastest car we've ever had down there did like 170-ish, I think, so... Yeah, this car is definitely the quickest thing we've ever had. There's no doubting that for a second. It is ridiculous. There is no getting around that fact. The only struggling thing with this car is how hard this is going to be to control. Also, another thing this has over Ferrari. Glorious four-wheel drive, which is lovely. I love four-wheel drive. Um, what I would love is better brakes, but there you go. Um, yeah, like I said. It's going to be interesting, this one. That being said, depends how good a run we can get to the line. Oh my god. 
Oh, oh wait, never mind. 149.02. For some reason, I thought the Ferrari was in the 140s for a second there, and that seemed a bit weird. Okay, first lap, not massively promising. The straight line speed was very good, but I think I might have made a couple of errors. So, we'll see what we can do once we rectify those. But yeah, it, it, it sort of, it does take a little bit of getting used to. It's a little bit weird to drive. It also desperately wants to go sideways all the time, which is not great, it has to be said. It is quite scary when it's deciding sort of at 120 miles an hour that it actually wants to go a completely different way, but you sort of have to expect that when you get to a car like that. That was 189. Oh my god. That was 190, almost, down there. Th this thing is ridiculous. This thing is absolutely insane when it comes to the straight line speed. Again, you know, you might be sitting there just going, Oh, well, it's all-wheel drive and it's got 1,800 horsepower and it weighs like 2,600 pounds. Yeah, sure. You expect it to do that. The question is, you're not really prepared for that when it does that, though. It's still mind-blowing. Uh, probably the quickest accelerating thing in the game, I'd imagine. I know it's up there power-wise. I think the only car that's up quick, more powerful than this... There's, there's like the, the Funko F9, which I think is making like 1800 horsepower. And that uh, RTR Mustang they added, which can have like a V8, which gives it a ridiculous amount of power. 137.533. I don't think this is going to be as quick as the Ferrari. Just again, based on the fact that it's just not quite as grippy. Um, the Ferrari was lovely to drive compared to this. This thing's just maniac. And it's also another thing, the Ferrari, I felt quite confident pushing it, because the Ferrari could cope with lots of things. This, you, you, there is no confidence when it comes to a car like this. It's just, you're praying to God it tries not to kill you through the next set of corners or something like that. It's, it's ridiculous to drive this thing. Absolutely insane. Ooh, there we go. A little bit of a jump over there, but we'll get there eventually. Hard on the brakes again, not like it's going to stop it from going into the bleeding wall. Yeah, it is ridiculous, this thing. I like it a lot, do not get me wrong. But, yeah, it, it is utterly, utterly, utterly ridiculous. Trying to get it straight once it started going sideways is another issue all in all. It's all-wheel drive, so usually the uh, solution is to boot it, but in this, that's not the solution. I have a feeling the the, uh, the weight, sorry, the, 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 what am I looking for, power distribution is a little bit wonky on this car. I can imagine it's putting a lot of that engine's power to the rear wheels, which, sure, you kind of want, a, ooh, that really is not a good way to start this lap. That's probably buggered that up. But yeah. It, you want a fair amount of the power going to the rear wheels. You don't want a 50-50 split, really, especially in more powerful cars, because otherwise you just end up with understeer. The problem is, in a car like this, I kind of want some of that power going to the front wheels, because I need the front wheels to do some work for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyways, I'll try and use this lap to set up the next lap with the uh, double down. I don't think it's going to be our Ferrari. It's going to get close though. It, it, it's in fourth place currently, but th there is a chance it can take down the Jag in all honesty. But I just don't know if it's got the grip. That's it's just the issue with it. The Ferrari had... Don't get me wrong, the Ferrari was nowhere near this quick. And to be honest with you, the Ferrari is nowhere near this fun. This is a hell of a lot of fun to drive around. If you haven't tried this one out, I do recommend it, but... The problem is, I just don't think it's got the, uh... It just hasn't got the Ferrari's ability to shrug stuff off. It, it is, you know, at the end of the day, it's still a 1932 car, so... It's kind of hurting it a little bit. Anyways to try and make sure we don't cock up our entry onto the final lap. 
There we go. Power down. Here we go. Let's see what we can do with the double dune. See, Ferrari through this section is just so much quicker to a point. I mean, the all-wheel drive system does help it get through some of the acceleration zones quicker, but there's only so much that can do. You know, the Ferrari is making up time through these sections because it just doesn't have to go on the brakes as much. That was lucky. That could have ended very badly indeed. That did end very badly. The bicycles are going to assist the slowdown on the double down. Ease off the power, ease onto the power. That straight line speed is ridiculous down there. I, I do have to admit, that is insane, the amount of speed. Sort of, through the Glasgow smile, sort of coming into it and coming out of it, it's just ridiculous how much power this thing can get down and how much speed it can make up through the... Oh, please don't. That... Actually, I don't think that hurt it all that much. It's a nasty bleeding corner of a house, that is. Every single time. Right, on the brakes, let's not outbreak ourselves into here again. I think it's going to be close, but it's going to be no biscuit for the double down. A run to the line, is it going to go any quicker? It is not. That was ridiculous. <laughs> it is an utterly ridiculous car to drive. It, it, it is something truly out of this world when it comes to its driving abilities, but... It's just not... Again, as I said... Excuse me. I, I think if I didn't hit that house, that could have been a little bit quicker, but I don't even think it would have been beaten the, uh, the CX-75. The problem is, it's an awesome thing to drive. It's got an awesome amount of power, but it just has not got the downforce or anything like that those other cars have. You know, at the end of the day, it, it, as I said, it's still a 1932 body. You can put all the power you want into a 1932's body, but at the end of the day, it's still not going to have the advancements that something like the Ferrari FXXK or the... Jaguar's gonna have. It's just not gonna be quite there, so it's a bit of a shame. Anyways, on the leaderboard, it will still go into a very, very, very nice fourth place. It goes in between the Jaguar CX75, which it is about 0.1 of a second off of, and the Lamborghini Aventus, which it is, well, about 0.9 of a second quicker then. It is an insane O car. There is no question about how ridiculous this thing is. Um, and it's certainly a, a cool thing to see up there, you know, sort of your Lamborghinis and your Jaguars and your Ferraris. And then there's just a 1932 hot rod. It's kind of cool, but yeah, unfortunately, in today's battle, uh, a 137, 533 will not be quite uh, what the double down would need to gain the top spot. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching this edition of Silly Car Showdown. I do hope you've enjoyed. As always, if you want to request cars for the series, you can do so in a couple of ways. One way is through the comment section. Uh, another way, uh, you can go into the description and uh, join my public Discord. There's a request chat in there. I would recommend you post them in there just because it gives them a 100% chance of being seen and added to the board. But the comments will probably be read anyways. If you're watching this on HG Central, uh, the link in the description will take you to my channel where you can enjoy some subpar content, if that's something you sound like you'd enjoy. With that all being said and done, thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a farewell.